section two, we're talking about real roots again. So if it's real roots, we're looking at a b squared minus 4ac being greater than or equal to zero. Um, if it's equal to zero, there's real roots, but they're both the same. So we want greater than or equal to zero. So the a value here is one, the b value is 2k, and the c value is 4k. So we've got b squared, 4k squared, minus 4 times 4k is greater than or equal to 0. Um, 4k squared minus 16k is greater than or equal to 0. And we can factorise that, taking a 4k out of that and leaving us k minus 4. And that's exactly what we wanted, greater than or equal to 0. So when is this interesting then? So it's interesting at k is equal to 0 and at k is equal to 4. This is my quadratic with my k's. And we want this to be greater than or equal to 0. So look, here's the 0 line here. It's greater than 0 here. And it's greater than 0 here. That's two different parts, so I need two different statements. The first bet is when k is less than or equal to 0. That's that bit there. And this bit here is when k is greater than or equal to 4. That's that bit there. They are the two answers.